Hello. I am about to toast the savior of the Western world, Vladimir Putin, who is going into the Middle East and kicking Sunni Muslim ISIS upraised patootie in prostration in a major way. For a while there, I thought he was just going to go in there and, you know, you know, not really do too much. But now I hear he's really kicking up race, patootie, and prostration on a prayer rug facing Mecca big time. I say, cheers, Vladimir. Cheers, China. And cheers, you Iran, you Shiite Muslim Jew. Cheers to the end of the Sunni Muslim threat to the world. I I hail you, I thank God for you, and I feel like I don't have to make any more anti-Islam videos on LiveLeak, uh, YouTube, Dailymotion, uh, Vino, or what do you call it, Vimo, you know. I feel like I can now move on <laughs> to a new hobby. <laughs> Time to move on. I feel like, you know, I feel like, I want to tell you something. It's like a light that is at the end of a very bleak tunnel. Having, having Putin go in there <laughs> and doing what he's doing, it's like, uh, you know, I, I don't think I've cheered so much since uh, uh, the movie Aliens, where Ripley uh, uh, finds a little girl and actually stumbles into the lair of the of the uh, queen alien and uh, and everyone th and all the aliens are so you know you know it's like a sacred place and then Ripley just lets it rip flamethrower uh, uh, machine guns bullets just blast the hell out of those alien eggs and monster aliens it just it, it just it was like Oh, I, I just got up and cheered. And, and when I see Putin going in there... <laughs> and just totally destroying the, cal destroying the caliphate, making Oblamer look like the idiot that he is for, for being on the, side of, on the wrong side of history by supporting ISIS. Well, cheers, Putin. Cheers, China. And cheers, Iran, you Shiite little devils, you. Cheers. Hmm. And cheers to you. I really feel that this is probably my last. Well, I don't feel like I, you know, I don't feel like I have to make any more Islam videos anymore, because I think, I think Putin is going to put an end to Sunni Islam. So, and then probably eventually turn and uh, get rid of uh, uh, Shia Islam by getting rid of Mecca. Uh, making uh, the Kaaba go through a second Abu Tair situation. I don't know if you know about the Abu Tair of the Karmatians, but he went in with his Karmatians into Mecca, slaughtered around 20,000 Sunni Muslims. I'm not for killing Muslims, believe me, I'm not for killing Muslims. Yeah, but Abu Tair did. I think he destroyed the Kaaba, and he and he was on the Kaaba, you know, saying, you know, oh, oh, Allah, send me, send your bird. Where are those birds with the stones of fiery clay? You know, oh, Allah, where are your birds? And then he took that uh, black stone back to uh, the Bahrain area and used the black stone as a urinal. Kept it, held it for ransom for like 20 to 40 years. Depends on whose story you want to read, but our belief. And then he returned it in pieces back to Mecca. And if Putin does that, wow, that's the end of... It, I tell you what, it'll make my job a whole lot easier. And as a matter of fact, since I see that day not coming, if in case if I see this, if Putin starts losing in in in, in, in the Middle East, I see him getting rid of Mecca and probably not even defiling the Kaaba, just just nuking it outright. And if that happens, I see the end of uh, Sunni Islam and probably Shia Islam too. Even though the Karmatian leader was a Shiite, so and. He, he had his own cob in Bahrain, I hear. Or the area where the Karmatians were. So, anyway. Again. Cheers. Hail Putin. 
uh, savior of the Western world. Bye.